Hello and welcome to this webinar. I'm your host, Johannes Heiner, and this is the kitchen that we are going to draw today. So without further ado, let us make a new drawing here. So we start in a start room with a start cabinet. Let us activate the touch areas and scale the room to 4 meters in length. And then change the start cabinet to 650 in width. 2200 in height. And then let me add a cabinet. 600 in width, 900 in height, and 550 in depth. Let me drag, the, drag it here in the room. On this one we add a cover panel with an overlap of 25 millimeters on the front. and assign a 40 millimeter material to the countertop. And then let me copy this cabinet here four times. One, two, three and four. So then we set cabinet number six to a width of 950 millimeters and add a trim on the right side of 50 millimeters. And we do the same for cabinet number one on the left side. Also a trim of 50 millimeters. And then we add a cabinet with a width of 3,350 millimeters height of 600 millimeters and a depth of 300 millimeters. We drag it to this cabinet here on the back. And then we need to add some dividers here. We want two horizontal dividers in cabinet number one and set the middle cube area here to a height of 1200 millimeters for, for a refrigerator and then we need four vertical dividers. These need to be double. They pass through the top and through the bottom and then we take them and drag them in here. Next thing we need to do is set the right cabinet here on to a width of 950 millimeters. And also add a trim of 50 millimeters on the right side here. These are still single here, these dividers. We need them to be double. That's much better. 
So next thing, next thing we do is set an adjustable shelf on these wall hanging cabinets here. To each. But this one needs to be empty. So we delete this adjustable shelf here. And then we add some fronts here. We want a lid. Above this refrigerator here. Make sure to check frame if you want a frame front here. Then we add a left door. Two drawers underneath this fridge and three drawers in cabinet number two. And then we want to set the top drawer here to a height of 150 millimeters. Then we want the same configuration to be here. It's because we click here, copy, and then go to here and then paste. Then we want a double door down here, but we only want one, not three. Set this to one and drag the double door in here. And then we add a trim and drag it on the upper arrow here. And set this one also to 150 millimeters in height. Then we add a double door to this wall hanging cabinet here. A right door on these two here, this one, and on this one. And a left door on this one. So also note we have here still the plinth legs activated. Therefore we go to cabinet and deactivate the trim and the plinth legs. Next thing we need to do is go to material and add a glass in the middle of these frames here. We select only selected part and drag the glass in here. Do so for the other doors here. Then we need to go to front because here the, the handle sits right here on the edge. We don't want that. We go to the handle settings here and set the distance from left to right here to 25 millimeters. The same for cabinet six. Cabinet four.
cabinet two. And cabinet one. Oh, I see that. Yeah, dividers are not passing. So we set this here. Much better. So now we have some accessories here. We need a sink in here. Then we need a stove in here. as well as an oven. And a dishwasher down here. And an extraction funnel over here. Oh. There we go. So the material for the dishwasher and for the stove are not correct at the moment. Let me just go to cabinet and deactivate the frame for cabinet number five. And then we go to material, deselect only selected part. And drag the stove texture to the front here. And the dishwasher texture to the dishwasher here. And that's our kitchen. You can now, of course, export your parts list or make the cutting plans. Oh, there's a part too big. That's probably the 40 mil material. It's not long enough. We don't want labels. And that's it for this kitchen. If you encounter any problems, 
you have here the help category where you can watch free tutorials. Go to our free webinars as well as over here. And you can directly search our help by searching here. And click search keyword. And then you get all these help articles. Also, if the help articles aren't that helpful, you can click on Web Formula. And then you here you can make a support entry. Just enter your name here, phone number, email address, specify the category, add a subject, and a description. The more detailed the description is, the faster you get your answer. You can attach here the hotline.zip, which is generated if you click on Web Formula. This is then located in C, Software, Truncat 20XX, Backup, and here's your hotline.zip. Open this. You can here attach um, additional pictures and such and submit your ticket. We then get back to you as soon as possible. That's it for now. I hope you have fun with Truncat. Have a nice day and see you next time. Bye bye.